win by the Blues in David Teague's first game as an AFL coach. Look, I, I do want to be a senior coach at some stage. I'm very lucky right now that I've, I've got 11 games to learn a lot about myself and uh, where I'm at in my development as a coach. But at some stage, I, I'd love that opportunity, whether it's at the end of this year, whether it's a couple of years down the track. You ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah! That's how we play! Great learning there, Cunners! Great pattern! Great pattern! As assistant coach, you uh, you get to throw your opinion up, but right now I get the final say and, and my head's on the chopping block and uh, I'm looking forward to that, I'm looking forward to see how I handle it, but uh, if it continues the way it has been so far, I'm, I'm pretty excited by the job. I want them to be able to tell me why they're doing things, and they're going to get them wrong, I get yeah. that. I don't want us coaches to tell the answers as much. Yeah. I want them to sort of find the answer, and if the answer's wrong, well, that's okay, we learn together. I think that football is meant to be entertaining, so first thing I, I, this week was about the, the players bringing their individual strengths, and, and I want that to continue. And that's our job as a coaching group, to get a group that, uh, as they bring their strengths together, they work well as a team. Last drill, coaches, we failed. We weren't organised, we weren't ready. So we need to own that. We need to be better. But there's going to be times we make mistakes as well. We've got to own it and just move on. Yeah, I believe we've got a super talented team. And uh, right now, my challenge is getting the best out of them and allowing them to play to their strengths, but then together as, as, as a team. I'm not one for the players getting up for certain games. I expect a standard every week. And that's a challenge as a coaching group to be able to make sure they're in a mindset to be able to execute. I think your motivation's got to come within. And it's your pride in your performance is probably what I'll throw back to the players. The, the best review they will have is when they stand in front of the mirror and they honestly assess their own game. Every stoppage for a midfielder, it's time to be concentrated. You've got to be ready. What's my role? What am I doing? I've got to get my job done. I've got to get my job done. And the brain's working. The brain's working. So you've got to train the brain to be, be really in. I am purist in, this, in the sense that I want it to be entertaining. I want it to be, um, I want it to be exciting for the crowds. And that doesn't mean it has to be high scoring. Just I like a contest. So when we are in those contests, it's a great challenge for our players to, to step up. And they did that on the weekend. We, we were down and they stood up when they needed to in, in the contest. And I think that's what football's about. Keep assessing. You've got to assess every time. Why was it good, though? When you hit a good one, why was it good? Keep self-assessing. I want my teams to back themselves in. I want them to be really aggressive. I'd be comfortable with open training sessions. Uh, uh, people can come and watch us train. Uh, ideally, we get to the stage where we're the best at it and they've got to change their game to try and stop us. Finish it, finish it, Peters, hit it, hit it! Stop it! Great, Bray, you created that, you created that, Setters. Great, take it now, go! Get forward! Get forward of the ball! Cutters, tell Setters how important his run was for you there. 18-man offense! 18 man offense. I'm pretty aggressive in the way I want to attack and pretty aggressive in the way we want to defend. So hopefully that'll mean the game's played in our half. Pray.